The current administration has celebrated the passage of criminal justice reform several years ago, but with a recent uptick in crime in the state, one representative wants to create a task force to study that crime increase and see if those initiatives have played a role in that. In 2017, a package of bills were passed to tackle making changes to sentencing, corrections, and community assistance with recidivism. But since the pandemic, there has been a spike in violent crime across the nation. State Representative Alan Sebaugh wants to create a task Task force to study if the reform measures are tied to that change. To come to some recommendations going forward to see if there is anything that the legislature can do about it and maybe try to all get on the same page going forward. The language of the resolution makes claims that there are obstacles revoking probation, says there hasn't been a reduction in recidivism, and says crime has risen since the passage of the reforms. Some took issue with the makeup of the task force, not reflecting the groups that worked on the reform measures, which included faith-based groups and non Profits. This committee, this task force that you are creating, they have to have the freedom to speak truth to power. We can't tell them that what we want in the end by the words that are in the resolution. Most who spoke against the resolution were not against researching the topic, but wanted a more balanced panel for the discussions. CBA made promises to have further conversations about who will make up that task force when it's brought up on the House floor. At the Capitol for your local election headquarters, I'm Shannon Hecht.